Meet Nunchuga, a 30,000-year-old baby woolly mammoth. On June 21, 2022, miner Travis Mudry was mining for gold in Canada's Klondike gold fields along Eureka Creek in the Yukon. While mining, he cut into a wall of permafrost, permanently frozen earth, when a big chunk of mud popped off the wall. Within the mud was the remains of a tiny animal, which the miner first suspected was a mummified baby buffalo. However, upon closer inspection, the miner discovered that this was no buffalo. This animal had a trunk. He then immediately contacted his boss, who instructed him to stop working. His boss arrived to the scene and snapped a photo of the remains. He emailed the image to Grant Zazola, the Yukon government's paleontologist. As it was June 21st, National Indigenous Peoples Day, and he was located six hours away from the discovery site, Zazola arranged for two geologists to quickly recover the remains. The mammoth was wrapped in a tarp and brought to a nearby location for a ceremony with miners, politicians, and indigenous elders. The elders offered a blessing and named the mammoth Nanchoga, which translates to big baby animal in the Han language. Examinations revealed the mammoth to be a female that perished at about one month old, 30,000 plus years ago. The geology of where she was discovered indicates that she likely strayed from her mother while grazing, getting stuck in the mud and passing away. Had she lived to be an adult, she would have spent her days grazing the treeless grassland, consuming as much as 440 pounds of grass and flowers daily. Nanchoga is the first complete baby woolly mammoth ever found in North America, and only the second in the world ever discovered. Paleontologist Dr. Grant Zazola describes her as, quote, one of the most incredible mummified Ice Age animals ever discovered in the world, quote. Did you find this interesting? Would you like to see more mummified animals? Let me know in the comments.